The Chief of Defence Staff, General Christopher Musa, has called for community engagement and education in areas where illegal mining occurs to help address the issue of illegal mining. Speaking at an investigative hearing on illegal mining in Abuja, he emphasised the need for government to provide alternative sources of income for communities that rely on mining due to poverty. Correspondent in Abuja, Ken Abuji, sent in this report. The Chief of Defence, who was represented by the Director of Operations, Air Marshal Neneme Kailo, urged federal government to demonstrate political will to tackle illegal mining by ensuring that those involved, regardless of their status, face consequences. He advocated stronger border security and equipping relevant agencies to combat illegal mining, noting that foreigners are often involved and claim connections that lead to their release when arrested. Also speaking, the Chief of Army Staff, Tauri Lagwaja, also represented by Colonel Tajuddin Lamidi, reported that between December 2023 and now, 412 individuals involved in illegal mining have been apprehended. The Chief of Army Staff assured that the Army will continue to collaborate with relevant agencies as mandated by the Constitution to combat illegal activities and bring those responsible to justice. The third one is to engage the communities where these activities are done. And how do we engage them? We could um, sort of organize uh, lectures through their, um, uh, the languages around there on how sustainable, legal sustainable mining are done and how they can key into it. And also the government could look into also how to give them another source of livelihood. From December to date, we've arrested 387 individuals in connection with illegal mining. Um, we also have vehicles and also some of these illegal, uh, these minerals that were arrested, which were handed over as exhibits to those agencies for them to be prosecuted. Earlier, the Speaker of House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, represented by the House Leader, Honorable Julius Inyombere, and the Chairman of the House Committee on Solid Minerals, Honorable Gaza Jonathan, emphasized that illegal mining poses significant threats to Nigeria's economy, environment, and security, stressing that the unregulated exploitation of natural resources undermines the sustainability of the mineral sector resulting in environmental degradation and revenue loss that could otherwise benefit local communities and the nation as a whole. What continues to amaze me is that even in 2024, shamelessly, we are still talking about illegal miners. Now, these people are not spirits. They are human beings. Whether they operate at night, in the day, they are human beings. And I know for a certain there we have some of the best security forces in this world. It's imperative that we take, as a matter of urgency, decisive steps and necessary action to address this issue and ensure that our solid mineral sector operates within the framework of the law, protecting our natural resources for future generations. They hush them for swift and decisive action to address this issue, ensuring that the solid mineral sector operates within the legal framework and preserve natural resources for future generations.